Okay, simplifying, multiplying and dividing rational expressions and simplifying complex fractions. So when it's time to simplify, you want to factor everything, numerator and denominator actually. Um, for division, you're going to flip the second fraction and multiply by the reciprocal. Then for both of them, you'll cancel out every common factor that's in both the numerator and the denominator, one at a time, partners. And then multiply out the numerator and denominator and write it as a single fraction. Actually, I don't even want you to multiply it out. Um, I guess if it's multiple choice and you can see that the answer is multiplied out, then go for it. But otherwise, let's leave it in factored form. So number one here. Factor everything. I'm going to write my factored form over here. So again, factoring was taught early in the year. You need to practice your factoring if this isn't something you can do easily. Minus 4 plus 3. This is multiply, so I'll keep everything where it is. GCF factoring. Okay, now anybody who matches on top with someone on the bottom gets crossed out. Minus 4, minus 4. 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1. Everybody who's left, we're just going to write them next to each other. It doesn't matter the order. But if it's multiple choice and you see that it is multiplied out, then go ahead and multiply yours out. And then this is our answer. Let's try the next one. Pause the video and factor those. If it takes you a little longer to factor, that's fine. But pause the video before I factor it. Then once we get everything factored out, matching factors on top and bottom, whole factors. Minus 2, minus 2, 3x minus 2, 3x minus 2, x plus 1, x plus 1. Everybody's who's left over gets written down. And remember, the whole factor needs to match, so I don't want to see any of this. Oh, here's an x and here's an x. That's not how it works. The whole factor needs to match. Since those don't, those together as a fraction are my solution. Let's see what's next. Okay, this one is divide. So I am going to factor the left. So pause the video and factor the left fraction if you'd like to get a head start. Little GCF factoring there. Then when I factor the second fraction, I'm going to flip it over as I factor it and make it multiply. So the bottom one's on top now. The bottom's a difference of squares. And now it's on top. The top is a sum of cubes, and now it's on the bottom. Cubic factoring. Cube root everything. Same symbol. Square the first term. Opposite symbol. Multiply those two terms together. I'm looking here. Always positive. Square the last number. So now, I guess I shouldn't have used red. I'll use orange to cross things out. Anything on top that, cross, that matches anything on the bottom. x plus 1, x plus 1 x plus 2, x plus 2, that's it. I have an x minus 1 left on top, x minus 2 left on top, a 4, and an x squared minus x plus 1 left on the bottom. This is our solution. Try the last one. Factor the left, flip and factor the right, and see if you can get the last one. Pause your video. I'm going to pause mine, and when you press play again, it's going to be completely factored. Okay, so I factored everybody and I flipped and factored and made it multiply for the second fraction. Anything that matches anywhere on top with anywhere on the bottom. x plus 2, x plus 2, x minus 3, x minus 3, x minus 1, x minus 1. 
I have x minus 4 over x minus 2 left. Remember, you cannot do this. The answer is not 2, right? Because that would reduce to be 2. That is clearly not the answer. This is my answer. Okay, let's see what we have next. Multiplication division of rational expressions. So I call these fractions in fractions, right? So first thing we need to do is we're going to factor the denominators. Then we're going to multiply by the greatest common factor. And then we'll deal with it after that. So here we go. Looking at this first example. Um, if I look at all the denominators, this is over 1. My greatest common denominator is going to be 1 of everything, basically, right? A 2x. So I'm going to multiply everybody by 2x on top. Because basically I'm multiplying the whole fraction by 1, right? I distributed a 2x on top of the top fraction, and I'm distributing a 2x on top of the bottom of the fraction, the big fraction. But before I actually multiply those, I'm going to simplify. This x and this x cross out, and I'm left with 2 times 3. Problem says plus. Nothing simplifies because it's just over 1. 4 times 2x over. This 2 and that 2 cross out, I'm left with 3 times x. Problem says plus. This x and this x cross out, I'm left with 2 times 2, which is 4. Now you just have a regular um, simplifying problem left. Maybe rearrange it. 8x plus 6 is how we're used to seeing it. Check and see if the top factors, it does as a hint. There's a GCF in both of those, right? 2 comes out of both of those. Divide by 2, divide by 2. It almost matched the bottom, but it doesn't. So this is our answer. Next one. Common, greatest common denominator, one of everybody. So put this one over 1. So I need a single x a 5 and an x plus 1. So this is going to get a 5x x plus 1. This is going to get a 5x x plus 1. This is going to get, you get the idea. But then some of that's going to cross out. So the extra x crosses out on this first one. You're left with 4 times 5, which is 20, and then distribute that. Problem says minus... Nothing crosses out, so this is 10x, and then distribute that. And remember, it's minus, so I should put parentheses around it. 10x times x is 10x squared. 10x times 1 is 10x. One fraction. x plus 1's cross out. 5 times, it's 5x times 3, sorry. Problem says plus. The 5 crosses out. This is 2x times x plus 1. 2x squared plus 2x. This should have an equal sign. We should distribute our negative. Combine like terms on the bottom while I'm simplifying things. Okay, wait, I didn't distribute my negative. How come no one stopped me? Distribute the negative. Okay, let's combine like terms on the top and reorganize it. I like my x squareds in front. Um, I can see those are all divisible by 10. So I guess I could factor a 10 out of that. But even looking at it, I know nothing's going to factor out afterwards because my bottom is 2x squared plus 17x. So either one of those could be your answer. Probably the one on the left, but if it's multiple choice, you'll know, right? If it's free response, I would like you to factor it just like I put the yellow box on it. Okay, one more. Sorry. See if you can figure out what the common denominator is. This one's not factored completely yet, so start by factoring all the denominators. Before you can figure out what your greatest common denominator is, everybody needs to be in factored form. So this is a difference of squared, one with the plus, one with the minus. So greatest common, multiply everybody times x minus 1 times x plus 1. Because you need one of every factor. Otherwise, they're not going to cross out, right? If you put something up there in red and your whole denominator does not cross out, you did it wrong. 
Okay, let's see. Both of them cross out, and I'm just left with x. Problem says plus. Plus 1 crosses out, and I have to distribute the 3 over. Nothing crosses out. So remember, this was x squared minus 1, right? So distribute a 4 into x squared minus 1. Or multiply the red ones together first and then multiply by 4. Problem says minus. The minus crosses out. X minus 1, sorry. Distribute the negative. And remember, it's minus, so that parenthesis is going to be important. Combine like terms. Distribute your negative. Finish combining like terms. Check and see if that's factorable. Let's see, keep the top. Does this work? 3x minus one, x minus one. That would give me negative three, negative four. Nope, that would give me plus one, right? And I need a minus one. So this is not factorable. So this was my final answer. Oops, there you go. Hope you guys are doing well.